Mary Wright with Studio 360. Today I'm going to show you a little combo of a chair spin to a back hook spin. It's a lot of fun and it looks its like an optical illusion almost. Um, it looks pretty neat and it looks like it's kind of hard but it's not. So let's go ahead and give it a try. I'll show you what it looks like and then we'll go through it. So I'm going to do chair spin to back hook to pike. Yeah, why not? Okay, so what we're going to do, a lot of this is just in the arms. So we start with our chair spin. So our inside arm is high, outside arm, across your chest, pulling down, pushing away, right? So we're gonna be, our legs will be in that chair position with them up. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use my outside hand to pull the pole into this armpit. So I'm going to pull the pole into that armpit and now I am turned backwards and in position to do to do the back hook spin. So what I usually tell students is don't worry about your legs. Let's get the arms because the legs are easy once the arms are there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do this kind of slow motion. I'm going to pretend like, ooh, I'm spinning in my chair spin. And now I'm going to pull with this hand the pole into my armpit. And now I will be going backwards into that back hook spin. All right, so let's try it. Just the arms, not worrying about the legs, okay? So you'll just need to kind of pick your feet up a little bit to get them out of the way. So we're going to spin forward. And as I come around, I'm gonna pull it into my armpit and now I'm spinning backwards. So do that a few times until you're comfortable with it. Um, some common mistakes are not pulling the pole into the armpit. It's just kind of going halfway and now you're facing the pole, but that's not gonna get you where you need to be. You need to finish it and pull it all the way into the armpit. All right, so once you're comfortable with that, let's add the legs. So for the chair, they're gonna be up in the chair position like you're sitting. And then as you pull your pole into your armpit, you're gonna drop your knees so they get out of the way and then you'll be going backwards. And as you come around, what now becomes the inside leg, you're gonna have to kind of sneak it around to hook it. When we did the back hook spin, you didn't have to make it hook because it was already there. But in this one, you are gonna have to, as you're going around, sneak it in there and hook it. Um, sometimes you can even use that to help pull you around a little faster, that last little bit faster to get a, a nicer spin on that when you're switching from your chair to your back hook. So we'll try it one more time, and then you give it a try. So I'm gonna step, I'm gonna sit like I'm in a chair, pull in, and now you're back. All right, have fun with that one. Have a great day, beautiful.